Hello guys and welcome to my first let's build. This is going to be um, a let's build for this sort of gatehouse house thing. Um, I think it's quite a good one to start, it's quite compact. Um, I'm just going to show you the general process of building it, not every single little step because it's just going to be a lot of me sitting here talking otherwise and that's not exactly what you want. So anyway, I'm going to give you a good rundown of everything you need to do. Let's get going. Okay, first thing you need to do is get the basic outline of the front of the house available. And here I'm going for a double overhang. Obviously, double overhang is quite popular in realistic medieval houses. Um, I think it had something to do with the fact that um, tax revenue was calculated via the, the area of the square footage of a house or something like that. Um, but in this case, yeah, just going to get the basic outline ready, um, filling the walls down the side as well. Um, now, one of the tips I like to have with uh, filling in walls is to not have the same material. It just makes it look horrible, I and mean, I don't have the connective check textures turned on for Optifine here, so I just like to sort of do my own little sort of custom custom thing here, just using stone bricks and cobblestone. I think it gives a really good effect of just breaking up the wall slightly. Um, also here, just using a retexture of the um, nether brick um, stairs um, in order to be able to create these more realistic looking cross beams. And I definitely would recommend if that's, you know, if you're going to do one thing in terms of retexturing a texture pack, that's the one thing I'd recommend you do because it just gives a really nice effect on the kind of freestanding, freestanding beams. So we're just going to finish up the beams here, um, getting this done nice and early. And then we're pretty much ready to move on to the next stage of the build. Now, what I have done is added in um, another set of beams midway, um, and that's just going to help. Uh, I think with the way it looks, uh, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. What we're now going to do here is just uh, have a nice little step down, so that obviously it's um, not going to be a bit of a jarring jolter for any carts or anything that would be passing through underneath the gatehouse. Apologies for the frame rate lag here a little bit. But yeah, now we're going to move on to step two, um, sorting out the side entrance and the upper walls. Now what I think is best here is to have a side entrance coming up because obviously there's no real room on the front, so it's just going to take up far too much room. So I think it gives a good effect. It just you know changes the way um, your street's going to look a little bit if you've got something you know varied. Um, so yeah, just going to whack a staircase up the side here. Again, um, building up the same sort of principles as the other other walls. Try and break it up, starting with a basis of stone bricks, um, and then going to mix that up with the cobblestone and the other uh, stone brick textures, just to uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting. But once we've finished off sorting this out, it's about time to do the floor. Um, just a very standard floor here, we're going for the half block um, wooden slabs. Um, <clears throat> not going to show filling this all out, obviously it's a little bit boring, so we'll now skip ahead. Um, and once you've got the flooring in here, you've pretty much got the whole foundation of the build ready. And here again, just as I was talking about earlier, adding in another crossbeam in the midway through. Um, now just going to sort out the front of the build. Um, put it in a nice box window here, helps add definition, upside down um, steps underneath, and also replacing the upside down steps above with the full crossbeam um, logs, the uh, the retextured nether brick. Um, but now just need to fill in the walls at the sides. I'm using my own um, textured wall here, uh, which gives a nice, meaty, um, medieval style um, Watland door wall. And again, you could just use wall here if you're uh, um, using the standard texture pack. Um, now we'll just skip forward a little bit here, um, got everything filled in at the back, also sorted out the cross beam at the back. I haven't gone for the double overhang at the back because I just feel it gives it a bit more variation just to you know, not have a, an exact mirror image. Also before we move on, uh, put the chimney in the back there with the cauldron on top uh, as the sort of cover, chimney cover. And now on to step three, uh, the windows and the upper floors. Now what I've done here is decided to fill in the very top 
floor with wood. Um, one thing that you should try and remember with realistic medieval builds is that the upper floors usually are lighter materials because obviously the heavy materials on top of lighter materials just doesn't work structurally. So again, gone for the wood on the upper floor and I've just skipped forward here to adding on the roof. For the roof we've gone for cobblestone stairs alongside stone brick stairs just to break it up a little bit. Uh, put a couple of details on the side here, a little side window, it's a very simple little thing that just helps break the roof line up and also an indented use of stairs here alongside the iron bars to break up the profile of the front. Now if we go inside we can see that I've added a cross beam for the ceiling. Again also added in the floor in the same way that we did the first floor and then if we head up here again we can see there's a few more things that need to be done in here in order to sort it out. We need to fill in these gaps at the side and also as you can see here I've added in a cross beam using the same upside down retextured stairs as used on the outside. So now we're pretty much done in terms of the main construction, it's just a few finishing touches that need to be done and so we, that takes us on to step four. The last thing we need to do is to sort out the uh, entranceway to the backyard itself uh, and to do this we're going to be using single player commands or world edit um, to input a command here for a cylinder brush. Uh, if you're a bit unaware of how to do this then probably best to consult forums um, for single player commands just to get a bit of an idea. We're going to be using a brush here that's 80% gravel and 20% dirt. Now you can use this technique to effectively um, break up pathways so they don't look totally uniform. And I've used this throughout my, my, my port city. I'm going to set it with a small radius and then also a brush mask. And this is just going to enable us to fill this area in very quickly. You can do this by hand, but obviously it just using these sort of tools just makes things so much quicker and so much simpler. And so that's pretty much it. All we've got to do now is click down and that will fill the area in. There's a few other um, bits you might want to do by hand, just add in a few more bits of dirt just to break up the remaining bit of gravel. But other than that, that's pretty much the whole build. Uh, there's a few more details that I could add on. Um, if you look at the very beginning of the video, there's a window um, box full of flowers at the back. That's a good little thing you can do. Um, also here I've added a gate to the front, um, just out of wood in this case, but you can leave that off if you want. Um, but thank you for watching my first Let's Build. I'm hoping this is going to become a regular series. Um, apologies for the slightly dodgy audio. It's only a cheap mic. And I hope to see you soon.